Leroy McCoy reporting for duty, live on the Leroy McCoy show. Reporting live from Patmos, 777 feet above sea level and or ground level. But I've been noticing a phenomenon happening in the past since like maybe a little before New Year's, right before the New Year. Because every time I go outside, I look to the stars, I always look for three heavenly bodies that are the most important to my life. They're probably most important in general, but Pallades, Orion, and Sirius. I should have said they weren't Sirius, Orion, and Pallades. Those are the three most important. And Sirius is always the brightest star in the sky, the dog star, you know, it's the it's like the central spiritual sun. It's actually a binary star, so it's two stars, one really big one, one little small one going around the other one. But you can't tell because how far away it is and everything, it looks like just one bright star. So it's the brightest star in the sky. Boom. Always look at that one. Then I look for Orion. Orion is three stars in a, in a line, a straight line. The only three stars that you'll pretty much see in there that are in a straight line. And I noticed, actually, since uh, the meteor shower, because the meteor shower was right, like, by Orion, there's actually, right at the tail of that, there's, like, three more stars. They go in a different direction, but it's, like, a mini Orion coming off the tail of Orion. Even though that's the belt of Orion, whatever. But anyways, so, once you find the three, <laughs> once you find the three, the star of Orion, right, you follow them. If you see that, you use it, act like it's an arrow, and it'll, it'll take you right to Pallades. Pallades is a little harder to find, but if you have Orion as a reference... If you have Orion as a reference, then it's always easier to find. So you find Orion, boom, one, two, three, and you act like it's an arrow pointing in this direction, zoop, and it will take you to a small, it's really, really small, but it's a cluster of seven stars in there. It's the seven sisters, Pleiades, and that's, that's where it all happens. That's where the consciousness, everything, it's real important, real, real, real important, but it's always look for them in the sky. And I'm usually, like, Sirius is over here. And there's another star, too. I don't know what's the name of the star, but it sort of is different than all the other stars. Also, the twinkling, right? And they're sending out their energy. This one is, like, sort of, like, flashing a whole bunch of different colors. And it's way different than any other star. And me and my cousin noticed it one night. And we were not tripping. And we just bought our aunt. I was like, yo, look. Can you come look at this star and make sure that we're not, like, the only one seeing this? There's something definitely about the star. Part of my hair, by the way. I know it looks so crazy. But, um, yeah. So, Pallades, Orion, and Sirius. Now, Orion will always point to Pleiades, but recently, and I've been waiting for this day to happen because I have a feeling something with our consciousness is going to, like, really, like, boom, it's going to be, like, shoot us into the next level of consciousness. But, um, when you find, when you, okay, who's Orion is like this, Pleiades is up here, Sirius has been slowly coming like this, and I feel one day it's going to, they're all going to line up. That's pretty much what this whole video is going to Sometime within the near future, I know it looks really close now, but that's like millions and billions of miles away because you're when you're in space, like I think it's spread out. But soon, 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 like this year, I think Pallades, Orion, and Sirius will all be in one straight line. And when that lines up with the earth, I think something spectacular is going to happen. Our consciousness is going to be able to it's going to make that sound, and we're all going to get smarter. So I just meditate on those stars every time you go outside, and it's nighttime, it's just, yo, especially upstate. Look for those heavenly bodies when you go outside. Admire them. Ponder upon them. And get the message. They're, they're sending messages, and it's our job to transmit those messages. My job to transmit that message to you. So, I mean, be easy, my knees. I love you. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen.